Hi, my name's Tim. I head up the uh, product development team for Orthoshock, which is a, a new foot orthotic insole. I, uh, I came across these uh, orthotics about five or six years ago. Actually, I had a, a back problem and I was talking to a podiatrist and uh, they said to me, uh, you ought to go and see um, someone who really understands feet problems. And I looked at them quizzically, kind of feet, but the problems in the back. However, I, I took their advice and, and I went to see a podiatrist and they prescribed some custom foot orthotics. And incredibly, my back problem went away. And so in a minute I was uh, convinced of the benefits of, of uh, foot orthotics, not just for solving foot problems, but for other medical problems. Um, and I got really interested into this, so I started uh, looking at uh, uh, orthotics generally and seeing uh, um, what they were all about. And it became clear there was really kind of two types. There was uh, stuff you could buy in, in, the, um, in the chemist for maybe 10 quid, 20 quid uh, production made ones, or you could get the custom made ones, which um, were very expensive by the time you had the consultation and everything else. Uh, it's uh, maybe 200, 300 pounds once they're delivered to you. So I was thinking, well, wouldn't it be nice if there was a happy, uh, happy medium, something uh, that really worked in a way that a custom foot orthotic does, but that was much less expensive, maybe around a similar price to the current um, uh, ones that you can get in, in, in the chemist. So uh, um, I started talking with uh, various professionals, with foot doctors, with pedorthists, with orthotists, and I pose the question, can we uh, come up with a, um, a production made foot orthotic which will actually have similar uh, benefits to custom made ones and uh, we kind of came to the conclusion that really uh, this could be done but it would need um, a special material, one with very special um, properties, um, really ones that, where the uh, properties would change depending on the situation. Um, one where uh, if it's uh, the soft, if there's a soft impact, it will have a nice cushioning. But if if there's a strong, uh, higher uh, uh, force, that it will kind of stiffen up. And uh, the scientists call this um, property a non-Newtonian. And so we actually looked around to see if we could find a non-Newtonian or dilatant um, polymer that could um, that had these properties that, that could be moulded uh, into a um, into some kind of uh, foot orthotic and uh, well we found one we uh, uh, we found a material that had been developed uh, in the States uh, over many years of development and this actually fitted the bill uh, perfectly and uh, really out of that uh, discussion with them we were able to make the first um, orthoshock um, orthotic insole. Okay. This simple experiment shows how the shock absorption properties of orthoshock differ from uh, an ordinary uh, orthotic uh, insole. So we're going to bounce a pound coin on both uh, from the same height. In the ordinary uh, orthotic, it bounces relatively high, uh, whereas with orthoshock it hardly bounces at all and the reason being is the shock the impact force is absorbed in the device now if you can imagine uh, you've got your heel bone on top in this one the force is being transmitted back up whereas with orthoshock as the shock is being absorbed within the device there's less force being uh, or impact going up the heel bone. Okay. 
Okay. This simple experiment shows how the shock absorption properties of orthoshock differ from uh, an ordinary uh, orthotic uh, insole. So we're going to bounce a pound coin on both uh, from the same height. In the ordinary uh, orthotic, it bounces relatively high, uh, whereas with orthoshock, it hardly bounces at all. And the reason being is the shock, the impact force, is absorbed in the device. Now, if you can imagine, uh, you've got your heel bone on top. In this one, the force is being transmitted back up, whereas with orthoshock, as the shock is being absorbed within the device, there's less force being, uh, or impact, going up the heel bone.